Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with my mini perfume collection. So I had said like a long time ago that I was going to film this and then I completely forgot about it and then I saw them sitting there again and I was like, oh my gosh, oh yeah, I've got to do that. So here we are. I'm going to go through and show you all of my little mini fragrances. I do have a ton of them so I'm going to jump right in. Um, I will say though, I've got some... I've got some fragrances in here that probably don't belong in here, but um, these are some Sucre Bay fragrances I have. This is Water Witch, uh, Don't Be a Lady, Be a Legend, and Bloodline. These are amazing Sucre Bay fragrances. So yeah. Those are fragrances? They They're are. so tiny. I need, oh, I also have, have Book Witch in here. So yeah, I need to, um, in fact, I'm going to get a little container just for my Sucre Bay fragrances. I also have this fragrance in here, and I keep it in here so that I know where it is at all time, um, or at all times. This is Guerlain uh, Les Elixir Charnel uh, French Kiss. It's just under 4 mil, um, and it, mine is like halfway gone. I do love this fragrance. I keep this, um, I just want this on hand all the time for um for reference but i'm not gonna lie you guys this smells to me i get really strong my insolence vibes from this <laughs> it looks like my mouth this is i think this might have some violet in it whereas my insolence doesn't have violet in it um and that's one of the biggest differences but I get my insolence vibes from it a lot. So, okay, let's just jump right in. I've, okay, so the first one I have is Versace Eros. I think this just came in that big goodie bag I got from Ulta. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is actually a men's fragrance. And this is the cutest little mini ever. I sprayed it on myself. Oh, good, it's a good one. I love this little mini bottle. Um, it's just like the cutest little mini with the little Versace. It's the tiniest little sprays of it. That's okay, because trust me, that thing's a beast. Really? So, super cute little textured bottle. Um, this is a men's fragrance. It does smell like a men's fragrance, too, so I don't wear that one, but I just love having the little mini bottle. So, that was the first one. Okay, I've got an Erin fragrance here. This is Erin Amber Musk Door. And this is, I've got Amber Musk, like a full bottle of Amber Musk. Tell me that is not the cutest little mini you've ever seen. It's exactly like the full bottles, but a little mini. And I do believe that the, the little top of this one, I think it twists off. But isn't that a beautiful, like, mirrored bottle? But yeah, this is like, um, it smells kind of like the Amber Musk, but this has got oud in it. So this is like, um, yeah, it's very, the oud is really prominent too, and that's what ends up coming out on my skin more than anything. Okay, I have got Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. Um, this fragrance has just never, I love the bottle, the little mini is so cute. This fragrance has never really grown on me. Um, I don't know. I've heard the only one, too, is really, really nice. Um, yeah, and this one smells really good, It's but it's kind of generic smelling. I get black opium vibes from this, um, and even the color of the liquid looks like black opium. I can smell it. Yeah, but I definitely get black opium vibes from this. Um, yeah, I would never buy a full bottle, but I love having the mini. Oh, tell me that is not amazing. I've got a mini of Tom Ford Noir de Noir. These little Tom Ford minis are the cutest things ever. I bought this to test so that I could test my um, Club de Nuit Intense from our moth against it because I certainly didn't want to buy, you know. This is like 12 mil though. This is a ton of perfume. In here, this is more. There, there's more in here than there is than there is in like a lot of pen sprays. But yeah, I bought this so I could test it against my Armoff, and they smell almost identical. Like Noir de Noir or uh, 
sorry, Armoff Club de Nuit Intense. Is that what I said? I think I said Noir de Noir. But um, yeah, Club, Na Club de Nuit Intense is, is a dead on dupe. A dead on dupe for Noir de Noir. Oh, this is so good. I love it. I need to, I, thankfully this little box is stored in a dark place because I want to make sure this keeps dark. Um, okay. I've got so many. <laughs> um, I've got Kim Kardashian gold. I picked this up from Kim K. Kim K. Yeah. I picked this up from, this is seven and a half mil quarter ounce. I picked it up from fragrance net for like $3. I don't love this fragrance. Okay, I've got a little trio of Lardasan perfume perfumer. Um, this says Coffret Miniatures or Miniature Set. So these are five mil miniatures, and oh my gosh, are these not the cutest things ever? Um, so I've got a little miniature of Mir a Musk, which is a stunning musk fragrance. What is this? Ah, oh, yes, this Mira Musk is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, is it stunning. I love this. This is one that I would love to have a full bottle of. Um, it's also got La, La Chasse au Papillon. And this one, I can't even remember what it smells like. But how cute are these little bottles? And I picked this up off of Mercari. Somebody had it for sale on Mercari for... How cute is that bottle? Oh my gosh. Um, somebody had this for sale in Mercari for really, really reasonable. Um, and then it also came with Timbuktu, which I had heard really, really mixed things about this one. Um, really, really cute though. Mm. Uh, smells good. All I smell is patchouli, really, in that one. Okay, next I have this cute little, I think this also came in that goodie bag that I got from Ulta. Um, this is just the cutest little mini of um, Lancome Idol, which I'm not a huge fan of this fragrance. I do, however, love, and I love how they've just got an indent in the glass. Um, I do, however, love the intense version. I want that intense version so bad. Um, yeah, it's good. But anyways, cute little mini of Idol. Uh, I've also got a little mini of Nirvana Black from Elizabeth and James. And uh, I love this fragrance. This is a gorgeous sandalwood fragrance. I really, really like this one, but I love the little mini. It looks just like the full-size bottles, but just a little tiny mini, and it is so cute. Super cute little mini. Sorry, not Edol Intense, Edol Aura, I think is the one. But yeah, that's the one with like the salted vanilla base. Yep, I love it. I just have to show you guys, I got the cutest new case for my phone from Casetify. Uh, not in any way affiliated with them, but it's a little, it's so cute. It's a Harry Potter one. I had to have it. I thought it was just so cute. Okay, moving right along, I have got, um, this is Calvin Klein Endless Euphoria. Just a cute little bottle. I really like this one, but it wears off in like a hot second. Oh, I've got another little Sucre Bay down in here. This is Irish Cream from Sucre Bay. Okay, um, I've got Chloe Nomad. Cute little mini Chloe Nomad. Super cute. Little baby. Okay, I have got, um, this is from the different company, and this is called Al Sara. Um, oh, it's like a spicy sandalwood fragrance. Um, Al Sara, I think. I'm pretty sure it's the newest fragrance that was released from the different company, which is a niche fragrance house. 
It's a nice one. Okay, I've got another Calvin Klein. Oh. And this is just Calvin Klein Euphoria. I absolutely love this fragrance. This should have been in my fragrance journey video because this is an old signature of mine, but this has been reformulated and it just does not smell the same. Like it does, but it doesn't. It's really sad, but that's Calvin Klein Euphoria. Okay, next I've got another Tom Ford. This is Tom Ford Black Orchid. This came from somebody or somewhere, or maybe it came, it's so cute though, Black Orchid. Um, I don't even know how I got this. Somebody sent it to me. Um, uh, which I do love Black Orchid, but this fragrance gives me a headache. It's like a fragrance that I love the way it smells, but I can't wear it because it just gives me a headache. Okay, I've got another Calvin Klein. This is uh, Deep Euphoria, which I love this bottle, but I'm not a huge fan of this fragrance. Yeah, this has um, that kind of dry synthetic cedar note in it that it ends up being all I can smell. So that is Deep Euphoria from Calvin Klein. I do love the dark purple bottle though. Okay, next I have got, and I don't know where I got this either. I'm, I think somebody sent these to me. Um, this is Estee Lauder Pleasures, which I was so, this is like a blast from the past. Yeah, this is like so nostalgic smelling for me because I think when I was in middle school, this came out. Yeah. This, this mini is like off at this point. It doesn't smell right until you get to the dry down. But yeah, it just reminds me of like, I don't know, middle school or something. Um, I've got another Estee Lauder Pleasures Intense. This one is new. I ordered this one. Um, yeah, I ordered this one because somebody recommended it to me and I do not like it. <laughs> um, I don't like it at all. There's something, I don't know. There's something really off and weird about it, but yeah, Estee Lauder's Pleasures Intense. Okay, I've got a cute little Juicy. This is Viva Le Juicy Le Fleur. I have a big bottle of this, so, but I do have this little mini. Um, I don't even know where I got this little mini. Um, here's my little mini of Angel. This is the original Angel. And yeah, I have worn this. I keep this one though just to smell. And my, it's mine's so old. Like my liquid has turned green. Um, I've had this little mini for just so many years. Uh, I do love this little mini bottle though. I think it's so pretty. Mugler bottles are just gorgeous. such a pretty little bottle yeah you can see my liquid is like legitimately green I have got a Lancome Miracle tiny little cute bottle I haven't um, smelled this in a long time I do like this yeah, I do like Miracle. It came out in like the early 2000s and it reminds me of Uma Thurman because she was the like spokesperson for it. Uh, Calvin Klein, so CK1. I love this. I like to just keep it to smell. Oh my gosh, because it takes me on a journey to the past. Such a nostalgic scent for me. So yeah, CK1. All right, I have got a little... Um, Valentino Donna Aqua, just a baby. I think I picked this up from eBay or Mercari or something to test it before I purchased a full bottle of it to see if I really loved it, and I do really love it. And I love the little baby bottle. I think it's so cute. Little mini, it looks exactly like the big bottle. It's so cute. Uh, Chanel Coral, Coro Mandel. Beautiful patchouli fragrance. Cutest little tiny bottle ever. Okay, I've got Miss Dior Eau de Toilette. Cute little mini. There we go. 
Misty Art Eau de Toilette, super cute. It's even got the little hound's tooth on the bottom. Really cute. Oh, that smells so good. Like, I don't even know what formulation this is. I think it's like the... Oh, it smells good. So that is Misty Art Eau de Toilette. Super, I love these little bottles. Okay, I've got another Mugler fragrance. This is another one that I picked up the mini to see if I liked it, if I wanted a full bottle, which I did not like it enough towards a full bottle. Um, this is Mugler Aura. This is the Eau de, Eau de Parfum. I tried the Eau de Toilette as well, and I didn't really care for it either. There's something about that. It's got a mintiness to it. It's got like a minty... It's got something minty in it that I just don't care for. Yeah, it's like it smells really nice. I love the way it smells. I could smell it out of the bottle all day. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just not anything that I want to smell like. Um, but I do love this fragrance. But that is such a stunning mini. The Mugler fragrances are like, even their minis are just like little works of art. Okay, I have got a little mini of Calvin Klein Eternity. I keep this. Oh my gosh, it's so nostalgic. I keep this in my collection just to smell, just out of nostalgia. I love it. It's such a good one. Okay, I have got um, Estee Lauder Sensuous Nude. Super cute little bottle. I love Sensuous. I also love Sensuous Nude, but I don't think I love Sensuous Nude enough to want a full bottle of it. This little mini is just perfectly fine. I also love that the mini is a sprayer. It's a spray mini, which is awesome, and it has a cap. I mean, it's such a great little mini. Okay, I've got a Serge Luton's mini. This is La Fille, La Fille de Berlin. Um, I love the color of this liquid. I think it's stunning. It's so pretty. This is a really pretty fragrance too. Oh gosh, it smells. This is one of those fragrances that when I smell it, I'm like, gosh, that smells very niche. And it is. So that is Serge Luton's. Uh, La Fille de Berlin. Uh, another Mugler fragrance. This is uh, this is just Mugler Cologne. It's just called Cologne. I picked this up um, because I had just gotten a lot of recommendations. To like, I had had a lot of people recommend it to me, and it's really pretty. It's just a really beautiful, very unisex. Um, very fresh, clean, like barbershop style cologne. It's gorgeous. Um, if it were, if I could find a bottle of it for like a reasonable price, I would definitely pick up a full bottle, but it's not anything that I would like seek out. It would have to be like, oh, I came across a bottle. Oh, it's 25 bucks. Oh yeah, I'll buy it. But it doesn't last very long on the skin and it's, there's, it's not worth like more than maybe 25 bucks. I know that sounds horrible, but I just don't think it's, you know, there's nothing about it that is, that warrants a high price tag. So anyways, that is Cologne from Mugler. Okay, I have got a mini of Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. I love this, even the mini bottle is just so pretty. It's got the red on the insides of the walls and the blue and then the cute little cap. Really cute little bottle. I love this. This is a stunning rose fragrance, like, like very fresh green rose fragrance and it's got a beautiful cannabis note in it that's not in any way overpowering. It's just a stunning fragrance. I need to find a full bottle of this. This has been discontinued. It's becoming increasingly hard to find and it's becoming incredibly expensive. So I need to get a full bottle of this before um, it gets out of hand. So anyways, that is Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. Okay, I've got a little baby Chloe. This is, I think this is just the original Chloe. And I think that these minis are so darned cute. Very cute. Says Chloe on the top. Really, really cute. This liquid almost looks a little green though. So it might be, um, oh gosh, I love the smell of this fragrance. And it's just the original. So uh, just a little baby Chloe. Okay, next I've got Ralph Lauren Safari. I love this. This is the cutest mini ever. This is really beautiful, like cut crystal 
or it's cut glass probably, but meant to look like cut crystal. Reminds me of like a beautiful whiskey bottle that you would see on somebody's really expensive bar. Um, this is vintage too. This is a vintage. Ugh, yeah, this is a vintage mini and I love it. Next, I have a vintage, um, a vintage mini of opium from YSL. And this is the original formulation, which is why I picked this up. This is not a fragrance that I would really wear um, these days. My mom used to wear this when I was a kid, and I love it. And I picked it up just to have a vintage, uh, a mini of the vintage formulation. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is such a powerhouse of a fragrance. Sometimes I do like to just... Yeah, sometimes I do like to just dab a little bit on me somewhere and then just smell it. It brings back such, oh my gosh, just such fond memories of being a kid and my mom smelling like this. It's su This is such a powerhouse of a fragrance and this is so old and it still smells incredible. This still smells exactly like it would if it were brand new. I mean, this is held up so well. Yeah, I love this for nostalgia purposes. So anyways, that is opium. This is the Eau de Toilette formulation though. So it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit less intense than the Eau de Parfum. So anyways, opium Eau de Toilette uh, vintage. Okay, I've got uh, Lancome Miracle Forever. This is I think, I don't think this, yeah, they don't make this anymore, I'm quite sure. Oh, it's really pretty. So, cute little Lancome Miracle Forever. I've got a couple of Queen Latifah fragrances here. I have got, um, what is this one? I don't even know what, this is the one, the blue one, the one that you can still find for relative, relatively reasonable. Mmm. I forget what these smell like. I'm quite sure that the one in the red bottle is called Queen of Hearts. For some reason, I can't remember what this one is called though. Mm, it's good though for celebrity, well, I like celebrity fragrances, but this one's really nice. It smells like it's got a little bit of almond in it. It's really, really pretty. So that is Queen Latifah. I can't remember what that one's called. And then here, here is the Queen of Hearts one. Um, this one is so expensive and hard to find. And I found a mini of it. Mm, I think mine's off. I don't remember it smelling like this. Yeah, mine's gone off a little bit which I'm not surprised, um, celebrity fragrances aren't going to last like my YSL opium. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but once it gets to the dry down, it starts to smell like, yeah, it starts to smell like what it used to smell like, but uh, that's sad, that one's off. So that is Queen Latifah, Queen of Hearts. Um, okay, I've got another Versace. This is Versace Eros Pour Femme. This is... This is like a super sweet, smells like candy type fragrance. Again, with the cute little bottle with the little Versace head on it. Very cute. This is another one I bought the mini of it to see if I would want a full bottle, and I did not. Okay, next I have Estee Lauder. This is Modern Muse La Rouge. This is another one that I, um, I think somebody sent this over to me, but... I really wanted to get my nose on this one because I think this has got some kind of a vinyl note in it that I was really, yeah, that I was really intrigued by. Um, yeah, this is one, I like it, it's fine, but it's nothing I would want a full bottle of. It's pretty, but I don't think it would do super well in my skin chemistry either. 
I love that Estee Lauder makes their little minis though in these little spray bottles. These are incredible. Estee Lauder makes hands down the best minis on the market because they make them sprayers. So anyways, that is Modern Muse La Rouge. Okay, I've got a little roll on in here. This is a Define Me fragrance and this is called Peyton. I just keep it in here because it's such a little, um, it's an oil, but no, it's not. Yeah, actually I think this is an oil. But yeah, um, I've smelled every single one of these Define Me fragrances that are like, that have like a, like a name associated with them. And I've never fallen in love with any of them. So it just kind of stays in here with my minis. Um, okay, next I have got Ralph Lauren Romance, the original. This is my mother-in-law's signature scent. I love the bottle looks exactly like a big bottle. It's just a baby. It's so cute. Um, yeah, I love how Ralph Lauren Romance smells, but again, it is my mother-in-law's signature, so it's not anything that I could ever wear, um, but it is gorgeous. I have got uh, Giorgio Armani C. Passione. This is another one that the bottle is just so darned cute because it's like a just a mini version of a full-size bottle so darned cute yeah this one i mean it smells fine but i've never been a huge fan of any of the c perfumes um except for c le parfum i'm like head over heels in love with that one but okay i've got clean cotton t-shirt this is this is another really, really cute one. Little tiny version of a normal bottle. I love the color of this bottle too. I think it's gorgeous. This one I just picked up not too long ago. It's, I got it from, um, and it does smell like a clean, like clean laundry. Um, yeah, I picked that up from Fragrance Net for like a few dollars. Um, next we have, Daisy Love from Marc Jacobs. Um, I've never been a huge fan of any of the Daisy perfumes, but this darn little bottle. This little bottle. Oh, this is, sorry, Daisy Love Oh So Sweet. These little minis of these perfumes, though, are the cutest things ever. The little flower on top. They're so cute. I don't even know if I've ever smelled this one. Mmm, it smells pretty, but nothing I would buy a full bottle of. Uh, getting close to the end here. Okay, we're getting close to the end here. Um, I'm probably gonna take these all out of the boxes too because I don't need to leave these in boxes. Um, I've got, these are all Lancome perfumes. This was a set of minis. I've got Lancome La Via Belle. Cutest little mini. I like having this little mini of this because it's great for testing fragrances against. Like to compare it. Super cute. Um, we've got Trezor in Love. This again, the cutest little miniature version of the big one. I don't like how this fragrance smells though. Yeah, like I'm just not a fan of how this smells. It's okay, but I don't know. It's it's all right. Um, okay, I have got Miracle. Well, I guess the Miracle that I had that I showed you was the one that was in this box. I don't know why I've kept these in here. Uh, Trezor. This is another fragrance that, oh, the little mini bottle is so cute, but I am just not a fan of Trezor at all. What I really want to get is a mini of Poem. Um, I've been dying. A girl I used to work with at Macy's so many years ago when Poem first came out. Yeah, I'm just not a fan. This isn't, it's not like horrible. It's just not anything I would want to wear. Super cute though. But anyway, she, um, Back when Poem had first come out, this is back in the late 90s, 
it, that was like her signature. She loved it. And um, yeah, I want a mini of a vintage formulation of Poem just to smell it. And then I've got Hypnose. This is a fragrance I need to pick up a full bottle of someday. Like, number one, the bottle is just amazing. And number two, I really love, yeah, I really love this fragrance. Um, it's beautiful, kind of like a vanillic, kind of cozy fragrance. I really like it. So anyways, that is Lancome Hypnose. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got a bunch of Christian Dior fragrances. I have got um, Christian Dior Grand Ball. So Christian Dior Grand Ball. I have got uh, Patchouli Imperial. Really nice. I have got a uh, queer canage. I love these little bottles too. I mean, I just love it when minis are like miniatures of the original, you know, of the real thing. Leather oud. I do not like this fragrance at all because I don't like leather and I definitely don't like leather and oud together, but I love having these little minis. Every time I would come across those little minis on fragrance net, I would snap them up if I could. I didn't care if it was something I liked or not. I just wanted these little minis to collect. I think they're so cute. Cologne Royale. Uh, Bois d'Argent. This was one of my favorites. Really, really pretty fragrance. Um, um, oh, this is another one I adore. Millie La Forêt. Beautiful. See, and when I got these um, from FragranceNet, I want to say they were like, most of them were like 11 or 12 bucks, which I don't think is bad for for these. Okay, and then last but not least is Rouge Trafalgar. This is a gorgeous fragrance. I do love this. It's a beautiful, um, I want to say it's like a light fruity rose, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's like a light fruity rose. I have this little mini and then I also have a um, travel spray from Royalty scents. Yeah. Ah, it's gorgeous. Super classy smelling. So that is Rouge Trafalgar. And that is going to be it, guys. That is my entire collection of mini fragrances. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.